All right, there's been a lot of talk about the gender gap in tech, but it turns out when it comes to home ownership, there's also a gender gap, especially if you're single. But in this case, women have a big lead over men, and our business and tech reporter Scott Budman hit the streets to find out why. Yeah, it's a pretty wide margin, too. Single women are more likely than single men to own homes here and across most of the country. So we went and asked single people and real estate agents, how did that happen? Vienna Chambers knows the old school conventional wisdom when it comes to home ownership. I mean, most times you think, oh, I mean, the stereotype is that men will buy houses for themselves and their family, and that's their job and their role. And she's not having it. My goal since I was very little is I want my first house to be purely bought by me. You don't need a man. I don't need a man. I don't need help. I want it to be bought by me. A lot of single women feel the same way. In fact, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, more single women in San Jose own homes than single men. They also own more homes in San Francisco. In fact, the South Bay has the largest margin of single women ownership nationwide. And even though women still earn less on average than men. I wanted safety. I wanted good neighbors. I wanted close, good schools. Um, not sure someday, but you know, not, not now. They want to be owners. One thing that I believe as a woman I can say we all have in mind is the house, the place to regroup, the, the, the anchor. This is what it is. And lock it down. Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.